Hello everyone, Termizine here. Today I'm showing you a tool called Thousand Eyes. Thousand Eyes is a tool that allows us to look at our network performance um, and better better look at the network for any issues that are happening, any high latency, stuff like that. This helps us trace our SLA and um, does a bunch of other things. Um, and uh, I've recently started using it, so this isn't a full review or anything like that. I just wanted to introduce you to the tool. Um, I've been playing around with it for a bit as I mentioned. I'll just log in to uh, the page. You can try this tool out for free, which is very nice. So on the page, um, you're able to deploy specific agents to monitor certain things. So for instance, I have shawmancini.com being monitored. And one thing, if you are a smaller organization uh, or even a large organization, um, you want maybe to monitor to make sure that traffic from Europe, Asia, you know, and uh, all the continents are making it to your site and what latencies they are, right? Um, so what we can do is we can deploy certain agents either available from the Thousand Eyes uh, cloud infrastructure or you can deploy agents on your own network uh, from each site that you have and you can kind of do like a site-to-site -site performance test and all that stuff. Um, now another thing is that you are able to get certain alerts. You can create alerts. I haven't created any yet. Uh, like I said, I just started playing around with this. Um, you can deploy certain agents. So one agent I already talked about is the cloud agent. The cloud agent, from what I'm seeing, is uh, on the um, <clears throat> Thousand Eyes cloud infrastructure. Okay, so from different providers, you can see like uh, level three code gen, and this is very important because when you're reporting issues to your ISP. You can also prove out issues, for instance, on a specific carrier. So for instance, let's say level three in Chicago uh, is a 20 millisecond response time and Cogent in Chicago is a 20 millis 25 millisecond response time. Uh, you can say, hey, I think there's some latencies here. Now, I mean, it's five millisecond response time isn't that much, but uh, you, get my, you get my drift. So um, you can also run tests based on these uh, <clears throat> based on these uh, agents so for instance I have one that from Hong Kong is monitoring my my website uh, if I go to settings here okay. you can see that for Sean Mancini uh, I have an uh, an HTTP scanning for every 10 minutes okay, and have four agents selected okay. so if I look at the agents I have one at Hong Kong Amsterdam um, one in Mexico and then one in Toronto so from four different points uh, over the internet and geographic and different geographic locations I can monitor what the latency to my site is and if at any time at any time uh you know no traffic from hong kong is getting to my site or mexico or toronto or what have you right so if i go to the view i can do what's called a i can run a test so i can run a test okay let's say a ping test and then I can select the agent that I want to source from, so say from Hong Kong, and the destination is my website, and I want an ICMP test. So I can hit run, and I can do a ping test from Hong Kong to my website. Similarly, I can do the same. I can say, okay, how about from Tokyo? I'm gonna run the test. 
I can also do a path visualization. Okay, so if I do this, this is basically a trace route. And we're tracing from, in this case, Tokyo, all the way to my site. The reason why the hop count would be low in my case is that I use a, a content delivery network um, for my site. Uh, so that's why no matter where I'm selecting in the world, it's not a huge trace route. So if I say Frankfurt, run a test, it's only seven hops. Now, you have other options, like there's a bandwidth test. So I can run a bandwidth test, I can run a TCP bandwidth test to port 80 and check the bandwidth that Frankfurt is getting. Okay. So this is a very, very extremely useful tool when it comes to troubleshooting. Notice this is a single pane of glass that I'm able to do this. So this is where the industry is going, a single pane of glass, where instead of 20 different tools and 20 different portals and stuff like that, I can use one tool that can give me all the information I need. Okay. So there are other things. One thing uh, that they have is that you can, like I said before, you could deploy an enterprise agent. Okay, so uh, what an enterprise agent looks like, it's a, it's a VM that you can download from Thousand Eyes. Okay, and what, what this does is that it'll sit on your network and you, there are other options too, like you don't have to run the VM, there could be a, um, there could be a Linux package, there's a Linux package, so if you have a Linux server you just install it. On, on there, there's a Cisco NXOS image you can download so it can run on your virtualized uh, switching and stuff like that. Uh, and they have some other options, so you can check that out. Um, so with the, with the Thousand Eyes virtual machine running, I'll just wait for this to finish booting up. Anyways, what the enterprise virtual machine allows me to do is run all of those tests, but I can run it from this virtual machine and I can source it from this virtual machine. So say I had three or four different sites, I can, and I wanted to see the latency between both sites. Yeah, you can run a ping test and you can do all that. Um, but I, I say I want to monitor that and do all that stuff. I can use a single pane of glass uh, you know, instance here to to do all that so just waiting here okay so the virtual machine is booted up and you'll see that it's it's showing now connected so if I go back to view and I want to trace uh, I want to run a path virtual uh, visualization because I want to see you know the latency between um, this connection here that's sitting on my home connection and uh, between that and shawmancini.com I can hit run test and you can see that it has sourced my home internet connection when I do a state 2.1 being my gateway and then sources it and does the, the trace similarly I can do you know a bandwidth test a TCP bandwidth test to port 80 You can even run a internal bandwidth test. Just give me a moment. Let me just find one of my servers, 1.182. Okay.
and now I run an internal bandwidth test, which makes sense. I'm on a uh, 10 by 100 uh, switch at this time, so I mean you're not going to get uh, a whole lot, but that's a that's a great tool because now I can even run internal tests remotely. So say I'm in a knock in California, and I need to run trace routes and stuff for sites in Toronto. I can do that all within this tool as long as I have this virtual machine or the alternatives deployed. There's also certain DNS tests, so I can do, um, you know, a DNS trace. Let's go, for example, google.com, and I want the A record. There's a hundred different tools that can do this, but um, it's great that it's in in one tool. We'll just run the test there and you can see all of the uh, results for that and then of course you can set up alerts for this as well so I can I can set up an alert uh, saying you know if I see X amount of uh, unreachables or X amount of latency I want an alert uh, and stuff like that so this is a brief overview of, oh, actually before doing that, there's one more thing, especially for you uh, you guys using MPLS or uh, like a BG, like BGP peering, you can actually have Thousand Eyes peer with uh, BGP, uh, with your, your BGP, and we can monitor uh, BGP related uh, things, so, uh, you know, any issues happening with BGP and all that stuff, you can definitely see that. And all these issues, any issues that do happen, you will get an email as well. So, you know, if a site, the high latency or something like that, there's additional monitoring that's, that's there. So all in all, this is a really great tool. If you have any questions or comments about any one of my videos or this video, leave them in the comment section below. You can also email me, sean at seanmancini.com and visit my website, seanmancini.com. Have a great day, everyone.